Hi everyone. So today I'm back with yet another episode of the Contracepts, and today I have with me a very useful contraceptive agent, something whose use goes much beyond mere contraception, and in fact, it is one of those contraceptive agents which has found its use more for its non-contraceptive uses rather than merely the contraceptive uses. So yes, I have with me something that we call as no, not Myrena. Though its name Myrena is given, this is a brand name that we have for it, but this is not Myrena. We call this LNG IUS. That is levonorgestrel IUS is intrauterine system. Now this is a type of intrauterine device just like Coperty that we have already discussed in an earlier lecture. Um, so how do I use it? Very similar. How do I insert it? Very similar to how I insert the Coperty. Just that there are a few differences in the technique of insertion. Now this what I'm having with me is Myrena. Myrena is a brand name. Uh, brand name of the LNG IUS that is produced by the Bayer company B A Y E R. Uska naam hai Myrena. We get several others like Emiral as well. So बहुत सारे और मिलते हैं. But this is the one that is produced by Bayer company. जिसका नाम Myrena होता है. इसका insertion is a little specific. I mean इसका एक छोटा सा technique होता है. So you get it. You get it like this. इसमें ये जो red color का दिया हुआ है ना. It is not really red. It is white in color. But demonstration के लिए red दिया है. So you get it in this way. यहाँ पे you can see कि ये mark के यहाँ पे ऐसे रखा हुआ रहता है. This black line, this is kept like this. So before you begin your insertion, the first thing that you have to do is you have to push this ऐसे आगे so that you see it has gotten loaded inside. Once it has gotten loaded inside, I'll be inserting it inside the uterus. What do I do before doing that? I've already explained in the video on copper tea, wherein I shall be using an uh, uterine sound to know what is a utero cervical length, and accordingly I'll be inserting this flange over here. You see, this flange over here is to be adjusted. Kitna utero cervical length hai uske sab. So you can see there are markings, there are graduations that are present over here. So jitna bhi UCL hai, utna mujhe adjust karna hai. Once this is done, I shall be inserting it inside. अंदर डालने के बाद में मैं इसको ऐसा पीछे खींचूंगा. You see, I have pulled it behind this, so that the copper tea is introduced inside the uterus. And finally, I shall be pulling it completely behind so that ये ऐसा अंदर चला जाएगा. And then once it is inside the uterus, I shall be pulling this out and this will be removed completely. So that is how I insert Myrena or LNG IUS from the Bayer company. Now, what is the mechanism of action? Mechanism of action is a little different from copper tea, but it is very similar to what any other progesterone-containing contraceptive uh, device does. First of all, this Agent, this one contains 52 milligram of levonorgestrel. Levonorgestrel, which is a second generation progesterone, is me 52 milligram होता है. And every day, uh, after around three weeks of insertion, 20, 21 days of insertion, it starts eluting. Eluting is basically छोड़ता है वो. It starts eluting 20 microgram of levonorgestrel every day. 20 microgram, a very low quantity, but adequate enough for its contraceptive and non contraceptive actions so 52 mg total hai isme and 20 microgram daily nikalta hai how long does it last now the recent most fsh uh, fsrh guidelines which are produced by uk um, unka kehna hai ki all types of lng ius now for the non contraceptive use can be used up to 5 years and for the contraceptive use especially after the age of 45 can be used for 7 to 8 years as long as 8 years technically so the contraceptive action has increased from what used to be 5 years to 7 to 8 years after 45 it is 8 years before that until 7 years but the non contraceptive actions are for 5 years so 5 saal dalne ke baad tak ye andar kaam karta rahega um how does it act the major mechanism of action is everything that a progesterone does what does progesterone do uh, first of all it thickens the mucus at the level of cervix and at the level of the cornua so basically whenever there is thickened mucus the sperms cannot penetrate the uh, the cervix and come to the uterus nor can they go towards the tube uh, assuming that they end up still crossing the cervix and they reach the tube then one more thing is progesterone reduces the tubal motility the tubal motility is reduced hence the ova and the sperm will not be able to meet each other in time even if they do end up meeting and a zygote is formed the zygote won't be able to reach into your uterus now this definitely increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy which is also the case in copper tea it increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy but the total number of pregnancies are reduced but if you do get a pregnancy then it is very likely that it is going to be an ectopic pregnancy apart from that it also ensures that your endometrium of your uterus is atrophied progesterone ka to kaam hi hai to thin out the endometrium so whenever the endometrium is thinned out 
out it is not going to be receptive enough for implantation hence it also prevents implantation so prevention of fertilization and prevention of implantation what about inhibition of ovulation something that dmpa did probably even uh, progesterone only pills did or oc pills did this does not have that good enough an action in prevention of ovulation remember that that cannot be your first answer that is a secondary answer the inhibition of ovulation is very erratic by erratic i mean it is not consistent so it cannot be a relied upon method of contraception the method of contraception for lng ius will always be prevention of fertilization and prevention of implantation now that i've spoken about all the contraceptive things about it what are the non contraceptive actions now this is an excellent endometrial protective agent why do i and what do i mean by that so in patients who have a high risk of developing endometrial cancer or endometrial hyperplasia like patients who are obese or uh, patients who have uh, been receiving treatment with tamoxifen for their er positive estrogen receptor positive breast cancer status so tamoxifen ke wajah se there is going to be endometrial hyperplasia or women who have already gotten endometrial hyperplasia because of some reason especially typical endometrial hyperplasia this is going to lead to atrophy and uh, regression of that endometrial hyperplasia apart from that in women who have uh, adenomyosis or endometriosis this is going to help reduce the symptoms it is going to help reduce the pain the dysmenorrhea that these women have remember it can only cause atrophy until it is inside the moment you remove it that female is again going to start getting those endometriosis and adenomyosis wale severe dysmenorrhea uh, chronic pelvic pain wale symptoms so it is only a short term gap measure wherein if a surgery is not possible for some reason or a female is not willing for a surgery on endometriosis in that scenario you can be inserting it apart from that if a female is having heavy menstrual bleeding because of something like endometrial hyperplasia you can put this inside them this is going to help stabilize the endometrium by thinning it out completely apart from that women who are receiving hormone replacement therapy with estrogen like conjugative estrogen you can put this inside them so that the female does not develop endometrial cancer so an excellent agent for that as well so a very good agent one of the best known contraceptive agents with a very low failure rate it has a very low pearls index so an excellent instrument or rather an excellent contraceptive agent that you should be picking up in your uh, exams you should be picking up uh, regarding uh, regarding how do you keep a follow up of this similar to copperty the female has to be asked at every second day of her menses she has to be checking inside her vagina for feeling these coils or these threads inside her when can i insert it very similar to how i insert a copperty as well i can be inserting it in uh, women on in the first two days after delivery or after six weeks of delivery and any time after the female has just menstruated whenever the cervical os is going to be open contraindications again very similar to the ones that copperty had an active uh, genital infection that is active pelvic inflammatory disease or if a female has some unknown cause of uh, abnormal uterine bleeding it can be a cancer and i do not want to miss out on a cancer so i want to do an evaluation first and then i'll be inserting it apart from that if there are any endometrial displacing lesions or endometrial lesions like a uh, submucosal fibroid or ascherman syndrome or a septate uterus anything like that mullerian anomalies in that scenario as well i cannot insert this because this can lead to perforation perforation and basically expulsion as well so a uh, very good agent i have mentioned ki uh, kitne saal tak kaam karega 5 years for uh, the contraceptive part and non contraceptive part has been extended to 7 to 8 years now by fsrh ka recent most that is may 2024 ka guidelines so that is it about myrena or lng ius which is in fact a better way of calling it a very good agent one of the lowest failure rates you should definitely be encouraging your patients for inserting it This is Dr. Aditya signing off from Mirena.